Welcome to my channel. In today's project, we're going to build a weather monitoring system using an Arduino and an LCD display. This project will help us measure various environmental parameters such as temperature, light intensity, air quality, soil moisture. We will use a push button to switch between different sensor readings, displaying the values on an LCD screen. Now, let's start with the circuit connections and coding. Components used in circuit connections. In this project, we are using an Arduino Uno as the brain of our system, along with a 16x2 LCD display to show sensor readings. To measure different environmental parameters, we have a temperature sensor, LM35 or any analog sensor, connected to A1, an LDR, light-dependent resistor, on A2 to detect light intensity, an air quality sensor on A3, and a soil moisture sensor on A0 to monitor soil conditions. A push button is connected to pin 7 to switch between sensor readings, and a 10-10 kilomom potentiometer is used to adjust the LCD contrast. The circuit is completed using connecting wires. For the LCD display, the RS pin is connected to pin 12, E to pin 11, D4 to pin 5, D5 to pin 4, D6 to pin 3, and D7 to pin 2 of the Arduino. The temperature sensor is connected with VCC to 5 volts, GND to GND, and the out to A1. Uh, the LDR has one terminal connected to 5 volts, the other to A2, along with a pull-down resistor to GND. Similarly, the air quality sensor is connected with VCC to 5 volts, GND to GND, and the output to A3, while the soil moisture sensor follows the same connection pattern but with its output on A0. The push button is wired with one pin to GND and the other to pin 7, with input pull-up enabled for proper operation. With all the connections done, we are ready to move on to the coding part of our project because we need it to control our 16x2 LCD display. Without this, the Arduino wouldn't know how to talk to the screen. Next, we set up the LCD connections by defining which pins are connected to the Arduino. Here, the RS, E, D4, D5, D6, and D7 Tarzakarnasher pins are mapped to specific Arduino digital pins. Now we define a push button on pin 7. This button helps us switch between different sensor readings. To keep track of button presses, we also create a mode variable that cycles through different sensors each time the button is pressed. In the setup function, we initialize the LCD display so it knows it's a 16x2 screen, and we set the button pin as an input with an internal pull-up resistor. This pull-up resistor makes sure that when the button is not pressed, the Arduino reads it as high, preventing random fluctuations. Inside the loop function, the first thing we do is check if the button is pressed. If it is, we increase the mode value to switch to the next sensor. If the mode reaches the last sensor, it loops back to the first one. We also add a delay of 200 milliseconds to prevent the button from registering multiple clicks too fast. This is called debouncing. Now, depending on which mode is selected, we read data from the respective sensor. For temperature, we read the analog value from A1, convert it into Celsius, and display it on the LCD. The conversion formula is adjusted to match real-world values accurately. For light intensity, we read from A2 and simply display the raw sensor value. For air quality, we read from A3 and print the value directly on the screen. For soil moisture, we read from A0 and map the sensor value to a percentage 0 to 100%, so it's easier to understand. Before displaying new sensor values, we always clear the LCD screen to avoid overlapping text. Finally, we add a small delay to make sure the display updates smoothly without flickering. And that's it. This project allows you to cycle through different environmental readings using a single button, making it a simple and interactive way to monitor data. When the simulation begins, the LCD display turns on and starts showing sensor readings. But instead of showing all sensors at once, we can toggle between them using the push button. At first, the screen shows the temperature reading. This value comes from the sensor connected to A1, and the code automatically converts it into Celsius before displaying it on the LCD. If the temperature sensor detects a value of, say, 25 degrees Celsius, the display will clearly show C25 noise. Now let's press the push button once. 
This changes the mode, and now the display switches to the light intensity sensor. This sensor is connected to A2, and its raw value appears on the screen. If the light level is high, the number will be large. If it's dark, the number will be small. Pressing the push button again takes us to the air quality sensor, which is connected to A3. This sensor gives us an idea of how clean or polluted the air is. The LCD now shows the air quality level in raw numbers. Higher values could mean more pollution, while lower values indicate cleaner air. Pressing the button one more time switches to the soil moisture sensor, which is connected to A0. This sensor measures how much water is in the soil and displays it as a percentage. If the soil is dry, the percentage will be low, and if it's moist, the number will be higher. And finally, pressing the button once more brings us back to the temperature reading, completing the cycle. So in summary, this simulation allows us to check four different environmental factors using just one LCD and a single push button. By pressing the button, we can easily switch between temperature, light intensity, air quality, and soil moisture readings in real time. This makes the project simple, efficient, and interactive. We successfully built a multi-sensor monitoring system in Tinkercad, where we used a push button to toggle between different sensor readings on an LCD display. I hope you found this project helpful and learned something new today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing electronics and Arduino projects. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.